What's up y'all? It's your girl Soft Suffering and Fizz and I'm back with another video. So today's video is going to be a first impression um, slash final thoughts of the Fenty Beauty Foundation and Primer. Um, I really wasn't interested in um, the highlighters. I did want the lip gloss but the Sephora I went to it was sold out. Um, but a quick disclaimer, this whole um, first impression and final thoughts is going to be based off some samples I got from Sephora because I really I hate doing exchanges and returns so I figured why not try it first and then if I like the wear the coverage and everything then I'll go back and buy it I mean I've heard a couple of different reviews on this some people was like eh some people was like oh it's bomb and I mean let's be real a lot of people bought it simply because it was Rihanna now, I am impressed with the shade range that she has. Everyone has been, like, shook by the shade range that she had, which is awesome. Like, I love how she's repping for the women of color. But my biggest thing with foundation is how they wear, okay? The coverage can be amazing um, because everyone knows I'm a full coverage girl. I know that this is more so, um, I think I heard some people say it was sheer to medium. Um, I heard some people say that you can build it up to full coverage. So these are all things that I need to see for myself. When it came to this, I really didn't want to just jump out there and buy it simply because it was Rihanna. And I didn't simply want to go by what everybody else had to say about it. So since I can get a sample, I wouldn't got a sample. So I got a sample of the primer, which I felt as though is necessary since it came with the foundation. They're supposed to go hand in hand. So I want to see how this works with how this um, foundation works with the primer. I'm not going to powder before foundation. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to do that. Because I really want to see how these two act hand in hand. Are they cohesive? Um, it says this dries down to a soft matte. Will it keep my oil at bay without the powder? Like, I really, the biggest thing was I really wanted to see how it wears throughout the day. Um, so I got, the, like I said, I got a sample of the primer. And then I got a sample of the foundation in the shade 410. I'm, I matched myself in the store and I matched myself based on Auntie Jackie's um, review. She used 410 and then she used another color but 410 really stood out to me and I felt like that was what that was the one that I would um, probably end up getting when I went in the store. I tried 410 and in my opinion it was like a perfect match so we shall see but um yeah, let's go ahead and the ooh, jump right this in. This primer looks like lotion. It looks like lotion. See? So I'm just going to take hmm, probably yeah, this much looks good. So this much looks good. I'm going to take this much and I'm just going to spread it over my face. So I watched the Sephora tutorial on how to apply this and she said that it's better to pat to pat it in I mean I honestly don't think it matters I need a little bit more my face was already washed and moisturized so that's why I went straight to primer but it's definitely the consistency of lotion um it's really creamy it's not this it doesn't have a really strong scent so if you're worried about that don't be but for the most part I almost feel like I'm putting on I almost feel like I'm putting on a moisturizer sort of kind of so now we're going to take the foundation definitely a liquid foundation I'm going to tap some out on the back of my hand oh I don't even think I need that much but we shall see and this is the shade I got. I'm just going to take my finger and dot some on my face. Now I know a lot of people have been up in the air about this foundation. The biggest thing, like I said before, is the shade range. Which I think is just amazing. Like she killed it. And she got these other makeup brands shook. And now all of them talking about the diversity of their line and the shades and this that and the third and I'm just like hmm 
Okay. So on one half of my face, I'm going to use a beauty blender. And on the other half, I'm going to use my Morphe G36 brush. This has become like my favorite foundation brush. I just think it's, it's not dense. It's just light enough to handle liquids. So whenever I'm using like my NYX Total um, Control Foundation or liquid foundation like this, this is what I would typically go in with because it's not really dense and I think that it will get, I think it gives me better coverage. So I'm going to use the brush on one half and then I'm going to use the beauty blender on the other. And I just want to see how the application goes because she had brushes, but buying those brushes ain't in my budget. So I was like, I'm just going to come home and make it work with what I have. So as you can see with this brush, it's giving me, I think it's giving me a nice coverage. I definitely think it's more so medium. I think this is more so medium to full. I think it's definitely build, buildable. Okay, so this is the first half of my face done with the brush, and I like the coverage. It's not, um, it's not heavy at all. And it's a really nice cover. So this is this is medium. If I wanted more full coverage, then I'll definitely go in with um with more. So let me get my beauty blender, my trusted booty blender, like Patrick um Star says, and buff out the other side of the face. I just washed this beauty blender and it smells so bomb. Okay, so as usual. I'm already seeing that with the Beauty Blender, you know they soak up a lot of product. So it's not giving me the same coverage as the brush. So yeah, because I have dark spots on both of my face. And you can still see dark spots here with the Beauty Blender as the brush gave me a little bit more coverage on this side. But, I mean, so far... I honestly can't say that I have any anything bad to say about this foundation. It's definitely light. It, I mean, it looks like my skin. So this is this is nice. All right, so I'm going to drop this beauty blender. I'm going to put a little bit more on the back of my hand because y'all know I'm a full coverage girl. In my opinion, I go all or nothing when it comes to foundation and I'm going to dab some back where I want more coverage and now I'm going to go back in with that Morphe G36 brush and buff it out because I just think that this just does a way better job I saw on a lot of snapchats and a lot of Instagram stories that they sent out PR packages and I was like oh I got excited because at first when uh, people were doing reviews they were they had went to her launch party and they only got to pick certain things you know that they want like one foundation I guess they only got to pick like one highlighter they only got to pick like a couple of items but then I had to go out afterwards for the sake of the videos and you know, spending hard-earned money, as I heard some of them say, no shade, um, to get the rest of the products to do the review. And I was like, oh, let me find out some people feel some kind of way about having to pay for the products. And then she later on sent out PR packages. Some people are still getting them. Um, so yeah. Okay, so. At first glance, let me just say that this is beautiful. This was the perfect match. So full tan is definitely my shade. Um, as for coverage, definitely buildable. I mean, I was concerned at first because I was like, okay, this ain't covering up what I wanted to cover. It still was beautiful, but I wasn't getting the coverage that I wanted. But I have built it up to be like a full coverage foundation and I'm liking what I'm seeing perfect match I'm talking about this looks like I just really have some healthy skin I'm loving this so far but like I said I really won't be able to tell 
until I go out, do things throughout the day. It's still a little warm where I am and I do tend to sweat. So, yeah. Okay, so when, when I cut, when I go in, this is nice. This is really nice. It looks like my skin. I'm really not seeing a whole lot of pores. I do feel like I can use powder under this foundation because it's a liquid. Um, just to help control my oil. But like I said before, I really want to see how these two wear by themselves today before I give my final thoughts. So, I almost don't really want to put anything on top of it. I love the way this brush, this brush applies it like... I saw people use the Fenty brushes and you know they look nice but I just felt like I could I don't think that you should have to use a specific brush for a specific foundation now I do think that there are different brushes that you can use for different types of foundation like this one is good for liquid foundations you have brushes that are a little more dense that are good for cream foundations and then you have brushes that are good for powder foundations so I do believe in that, but I don't think that you need to use a specific brush to go with a specific foundation. I think that foundations should be able to be applied with whatever brush or product, um, application product that you want to use with it. So, this is nice. And I'm, I'm really glad that I got enough foundation to cover my whole face because when she came with those samples, I was like, I hadn't gotten samples in so long that I honestly forgot. I honestly forgot um, how small they were. But because this is a liquid foundation, I think, hell, I got enough for a whole nother day, to be completely honest with you. So let me go ahead and finish. Let's, I was going to finish the rest of my face off camera. But let's, I just want to see how, every time I do a foundation review, I want to see how it, you know, I guess you can say how it applies with other uh, products so let's go ahead and go in with concealer and for concealer I am going to be using my trusty um ColourPop concealer in the shade tan so I'm going to go in with this and just do it how I usually do it I think the only other thing that I would be interested in buying is the lip gloss and I'm not even a lip gloss person but because it's supposed to be universal I was like okay I will buy it but it was sold out for the most part I'm loving this foundation but like I said I don't want to give up too much until I wear it throughout the day outside sweat do all that good stuff and just see how it holds up like because that's my biggest thing with foundations now I'm not gonna lie I kind of I'm kind of glad that she didn't come out with an eyeshadow palette because anybody can make an eyeshadow palette um I'm just glad that she focused on complexion. This concealer has blended out into this foundation beautifully. It's, <laughs> it's just no other way to put it. So now I'm going to set that concealer with none other than my handy dandy Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 30 Medium Deep. Now everybody has different opinions about this y'all i love this stuff this is the only powder i have been reaching for since i did my full face user only maybelline products um makeup tutorial this stuff is not yellow you guys this is like it's tan it's like a tan brown type color and it is i just i think it's bomb i really think it complements my skin tone all right so now that i have that set i'm now going to go in with my handy dandy lori and follow powder and just set the rest of my face so I got my Morphe E1 brush and I think that this brush is amazing for setting the rest of the face applying powder. So another thing that I've noticed about this foundation is um, a lot of people complain about it oxidizing. Um, I haven't experienced that and I've had it on for at least about maybe 20 minutes now. So if it was going to oxidize it would have been done by now. So, like, I love the fact that it just looks like I have really good skin. Like, once I applied all the other stuff, the highlight, now the powder, I mean the concealer, now the powder, everything, yes, it is looking more like a full beat. But for the most part, this foundation, I mean, even with all of the stuff, it looks like a full beat, but it also just looks like I have, like... <laughs> 
like really good skin. All right, so I'm loving this right about now. Nothing else that I do or put on my face, I think is going to affect this base. So let me finish, let me contour, finish my eyes and put on some lips and a wig off camera and I'll be right back. All right, back so I'm back. This is the finished look. Um, I'm kind of liking the fact that I added this little pop of color on the lower lash line. And I'm sitting here looking like a modern day Pocahontas with this long wig on. Y'all, I honestly don't like this wig. Um, so, you probably, I'll end up changing it. It was just the first one that I could um, grab without literally having to go upstairs to get the one that I originally wanted to wear in this video. But, for the most part, you guys, I honestly, I'm loving this foundation. Um, the primer seems to be working well. Um, but like I said, the proof is going to be in the actual wear of, you know, after, after a long period of time. Um, and the reason why I'm doing a wear test is because this is supposed to be a long lasting formula. It's supposed to be a long lasting foundation. And in my opinion, long lasting is like 12 hours or more. Now, if you're like me. I wear makeup almost every day, especially when I'm going to work, and I get up and I apply my makeup at like 5 o'clock in the morning. So to me, long lasting is from the time I apply it until I get the hell home, which is usually about 12 hours later, between 5 and 6 o'clock in the, in, the, um, in the afternoon. So I am going to go ahead and run some errands. I'm going to get some things done. And yeah, I'll come back with my final thoughts when I'm done doing everything I have to do today. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. So I've been out for about maybe three to four hours now. And it still seems to be holding up. Even through sweat. Because I did sweat a little bit. So yeah. It seems to be doing okay. Alright Fancy. It's hot in this store. And y'all can see I'm sweating. But it still seems to be holding up. Hmm. Alright Fancy. The sweat is real, y'all. Look at this. I should have put on some powder. Powder? Mm -hmm. Powder before foundation. So, I've stopped sweating. And it's went back to its original... What's the name? I'm not really oily. And it's been almost five hours. So, hmm. Not bad, Fenty. That's going to be my hashtag. Not bad, Fenty. Alright, y'all. Like, I'm nice. back. And here are my final thoughts. Wait, before I get into my final thoughts, let me just let y'all know that I didn't change my wig three times. I got so many compliments on my makeup today. I even gave some tips um today to a couple of ladies in a store I was in because they were just so like, you know, amazed at my makeup. So <laughs> and I think I owe a lot of that to the foundation as well as the primer. These are two things that I would definitely be going back and getting from the Fenty collection. I may or may not grab the lip gloss. I mean, I'm not really a lip gloss person, but I want to see exactly how universal it is. As far as the highlighters go, I honestly did not feel drawn to them. I didn't feel like they were calling out to me. I mean, I have enough highlighters, in my opinion, um, that I feel as though really satisfy me. So I don't feel compelled to add those fancy highlighters to my collection. Um, as far as the um, matchsticks go, I'm not a cream contour or a cream highlight person. I use it every once in a while, but not enough to spend that kind of money on it, if you know what I mean. So, I don't feel gravitated towards those either. But I'm definitely all about that foundation life. You all know how I feel about foundation. I love it. I have a nice collection of foundation. And this Fenty um, Beauty Foundation would definitely be one that I add to my collection. Do I really need the primer? My mind is telling me no, but the way these two work so well together today, as you saw in my snaps, I'm like, mm, it wouldn't hurt. Do I think I can use any primer with it? Yes. Do I think that I can do the powder before foundation um, trick with this? Yes. So at the end of the day, I don't need the primer, but fuck it, I want it. Those are the only things that I was honestly drawn to in this collection. I think Rihanna did an excellent job with the formula. I think she did an excellent job with the shade range. She got these other companies shook. And let me say, it's just, it's very funny to watch. But do I think that this is a great foundation? Yes. I did not experience any oxidizing. I'm not oily. I'm more dewy. And I'm luminous in all of the areas in which I applied highlighter. 
which is here and here. My forehead is dewy, my chin is dewy, but it's not, I'm not oily. You understand what I'm saying? Like if I go like this, I ain't got a bunch of product on my hand and that's usually what happens when you have oily or combination skin at the end of the day if you haven't used the right techniques to keep your oil at bay. So I am very, very, very happy with the outcome of this. I will be purchasing and those are my final thoughts. If I miss anything, be sure to ask all of your questions down in the comment section. Um, I will tell you that I am the shade 410. Um, so I will be trying to get back to Sephora as soon as I can to purchase this primer and this foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And I will see you in my next one. Until next time. Bye.